When designing multi-story building structures, it is common to have instances where various deck types as well as various area loads exist within the same floor plan. An example of this could be when a floor plan has a partial roof structure. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to model these types of scenarios within Risa Floor. So here we have just a simple steel structure. We already modeled the floor plan. So However, that, that just, whenever we uh, create a floor plan helps within you floor, later on down the line so you don't have to, to assign uh, a default continue area load to, in the default model. deck type. So if I wanted to show you guys that, I'll just come to insert floor. Here you'll see uh, the default area load as well as the default deck type. And you'll be able to choose from that drop down menu based on the parameters that you have outlined in your spreadsheets. So this is where you'll choose your defaults. You're going to want to choose the default to be uh, the deck and area load that are most common or is going to cover the largest area within your floor plan. So what we can do is we can actually view this deck type here. If I wanted to choose to view it with the default, we can see the default composite deck is assigned here and we can see the correct in, uh, direction is indicated. And then we can also choose to view the default area load. So I'll go ahead and apply that. And we'll see the area load default is office. So what we want to do in this structure here is most of this structure is going to have that composite deck with that uh, default office area load. However, a part of it is actually going to be metal deck with a roof area load. So we're going to demonstrate how to make that modification on just a portion of the roof structure here. So to do that, let's first go ahead and turn off the display of my area loads. I'm actually going to come into my deck definition spreadsheet here. The program comes pre-populated with a few different deck options available to us. I'm going to go ahead and come into my metal deck database here and modify the deck. I'm going to go more with like an 18 gauge here, choose OK, and then that next span I'm going to increase to about 5 feet. And so we're going to go ahead and draw with that metal deck. And to do that, I am going to just choose the assign diaphragm edge and deck properties icon. So now we'll have the option to choose the deck type. So we don't need to draw the deck type uh, composite deck since that's already the default assigned in the model. So what I want to do is I just want to choose the metal deck. When I draw the metal deck, that is going to override the composite deck in the area of which I draw it. So I'm going to choose metal deck. And I'm going to say it's parallel to that global x-axis. And then I'm going to choose the draw polygon around the deck area perimeter here. So I'm going to choose apply. And then I'm going to, let's say the roof structure is just on this lower portion down here. So I went ahead and double clicked. And now you can see that we've got the metal deck. It's indicated in green. We can see that in the legend over here as well. Actually want so to do, uh, what we're seeing right now is the deck type assigned without the default. If we wanted to see it with the default, we could go ahead and choose uh, to see it with the default. So now we can see the composite deck here, and then these beams will be designed with the metal deck. And then let's go ahead and turn that off there. Now what we want to do is actually modify our area loads here. So to do that, let's come into our area load definition spreadsheet here. It looks like we do already have a roof area load uh, applied here. What you'll see is this column says additive. I'm not going to check that box. We don't want to check that because I want this area load to override the office area load that's already applied as the default. If I were to check this box uh, and say it was additive, then that's going to do, uh, it's going to double dip. It's going to apply the office load and then it's going to apply that roof load as well. So I want to be sure to uncheck that box there. So to apply my area load, I'm going to choose the draw area loads icon. For uniform area loads from this drop down menu, I actually want to select roof. And then in this same instance, let's choose to draw a polygon around that perimeter. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose OK. And so we'll just again choose that same perimeter. And then you can see our area load applied right here is indicated by the roof. If we want, we can go ahead and choose to view it with our default. So we've got a combination of the office area load with our roof area load. Let's go ahead and turn off the display of these area loads here. I'm going to quickly run a solution. And what we're actually going to see is that since I had a composite deck assigned to this portion of my structure, we can see we've got a composite beam design for all of those beams. 
whereas the metal deck option, obviously it was not designed as composite beams because it was not a composite deck that was applied. So that is how you can apply various deck types as well as various area loads within the same floor plan. For more information, visit resa.com.